Welcome guys to my new video. Today I want to show you how you can able to download and install MTK MediaTek tools. You may ask Farajo, what is the main important of this tool, right? This tool is going to help you bypass AVAP lock, reset the phone and a whole lot of things. So with that time wasted, let me start by showing you how you can successfully download the tools straight to your computer system. So first of all, you need to go to your browser. For my case, I will use Groom browser, right? So you can choose any type of browser that you want. But for me, I recommend you use Groom browser, right? So let me open my account on Groom browser and search for MTK MediaTek tools, right? Okay. MTK, MTK Universal universal tools right make sure you click the latest one search for it right here you can see we have it in different websites from the search result right check this out we have it in different website from the search result mobile team officials right you can go for this one let me click and check okay right here you can see the tools here so this is the tools mediatek universal tools and right here you can see all of these functions right you can use it to format data stroke factory reset you can do save format you can do avp reset and a whole lot of things right here you can bypass things you can unlock uh bootloader you can erase envy a whole lot of thing here right so let's go down and find an option to download right we need a place to download okay let's go down and find a place to download okay right here you can see we have a place to download and you can see from the person who posted this write something here file size is 56 mb developer have you seen the name of the developer and right here have you seen the file type which is a zip file and right here you can see the compactable right which means it's compatible with windows 7 windows 8 windows 8.1 windows 10 and windows 11 right so that's why i told you guys i recommend you install windows 11 on your system so that all of these applications will work on your system right so for the password is known so go ahead and download right so go ahead and download and guys right here let me show you something after you have a uh, able to download for my own case i have it in my own system so there's no need for me to go ahead and download again right so let me go to download options and let me show you from my own system that i have the tools so there's no need for me to download again let me show you that i have the tools okay i'm searching for the tools I have it in my system so i want to show you and show you how you can able to extract it okay let me go to all my applications let me go to document and let me go to android flash file let me go down i will see the application here i'm very sure about it okay so this is the application right this is the application mediatek universal tools right this is the application i have it here so i'm going to copy this application to a brand new folder right because i want you guys to understand and i want you to do the exactly same thing right so click copy and um, go to your pc then go to documents grade a folder right so let me grade a brand new folder This is new great folder right here you can see this is new folder 13 right so let me paste it okay so you can see i've successfully pasted the file so this is the file now mediatek universal tools like i said this tool can help you bypass avp and a whole lot of things right Okay, so let me extract the tools now. 
let me click extract here because i want to extract everything here yeah? i want you guys to follow one after the other so right here is asking me for password so my own um there is a password which i'm going to put the password now and um okay so when you want to download it from your own pc guys make sure you check to confirm that there's no password if there's password either the person who uploaded will show a password on that website so you take the password then you put it then you extract it right if you have any complaint you can let me know in the comment section i'll help you okay please let's wait for the process to be done Feel free to ask me a question in the comment section. If you have any question at all, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will answer you. Please, let's wait for the process to be done, please. Okay, we are almost done. We are almost done. Engineers, this tool comes with the drivers, so you don't need to download uh, any, any other drivers. You don't need to download any other drivers. This tool comes with a driver, so I will show you how to install the drivers and you are good to go. Okay, the file is successfully extracted and guys, you can refresh it in, so that it will help to refresh everything. Just refresh it. Okay, so this is the MediaTek tools. As you can see this is the extracted one right so let me open it and right here we have uh, folders like backup drivers logs and python and a whole lot of things here right so what we are going so what we are going to do here first is for us to go down and extract this tool right have you seen mediatek tools right it's a zip file right and right here you can see this is just a a, a 300 kilobyte right so we are going to extract this file here please we are going to extract this file here so do not make mistake do not extract this outside this folder so extract it here just click extract it here okay right here you can see that uh would you like to replace the existing file yes just click yes to all have you seen yes to all click yes to all and you are done right okay the next thing is for you to come up here and click drivers have you seen your drivers just open it right here you can see we have two types of drivers we have the one of 64 bits and we have the one of 86 bits so right here you need to choose the one for your system for my system my system is window 11 64 bits so if your system is window 11 86 bits or any type of window that you're using and it's 86 bits you you can go ahead and install 86 bits right for my own is 64 bits and let me show you how you can be able to know the bits of your system right so let me go ahead and show you how you can be able to know the bits of your system so let me open um, my file manager and go to this pc okay let me go to this pc and show you how you can know okay let me go to properties right here you see in properties so this is where i'm clicking properties make sure you go to properties then i click and this will show your system bit now you see your system bit whether it's 86 or less so right here you can see my system is 64 bits have you seen 64 bits operating system 64 bit operating system make sure you check your system to confirm uh, the bit of your system before you go ahead to install right okay so let me close this window and continue with what i was doing okay now we have confirmed the bit of our system my own is 64 bit so i will continue with 64 bit right so let me double click it and open it so right here my system is asking me for permission to confirm that uh, you know it is from me so i will just click yes go ahead and right here you can see the installation is done so i'm okay now to open the application is now running perfectly 
the drivers is installed so what i will do now is for me to go back okay then go down and right here you can see the media tech universal tool so this is the application this is where we are going to click and open it right so before you open i recommend you should refresh this folder right you just click to refresh this folder click refresh and let me show you just refresh this folder then go down click the application this is the application just double click it and wait it's going to open engineers please let's uh, have a little bit patient it's going to open okay right here this is the application called the mediatek universal tools right okay right here we have the old bypass we have the format data structure factory reset we have save format we have save format para we have a uh, erase ever p we have erased ever p for samsung we have erase mi accounts we have unlock bootloader we have relock bootloader we have uh, unlock permanently we have remove demo vivo we have remove demo oppo we have erase nv i also have read nv oppo read readme vivo we have dump preloader we have read boot plus vb mirror right so these are the functions that we have in mediatek universal tools and right here we also have the adb site which you can use the adb site to do a whole lot of things like reading the information of phone format uh, reset and wipe every other thing like the evp and a whole lot of thing right here and you can also do it to xiaomi phones and a whole lot of phones right here so let's go to the main one so when you want to remove evp in in an android phone that is mtk have this in mind that this tool can only work for mtk phones so for spd it's not going to work right so this is only for mtk phones so for spd is coming very soon right okay so this is what you do when you want to start uh, uh removing evp just come here to this application and click erase evp if the phone is samsung make sure you're clicking samsung right if the phone is techno any other brand just make sure that you're clicking erase evp right this one is like general right so click erase evp and then click start when you click start you see here operation evp and you can see the instruction make sure you follow the instruction so right here is saying turn off phone whole volume plus and volume minus then insert the usb cable phone must have battery inside waiting for device have you seen so make sure you read the instruction for you to start removing the evp right for you to start bypassing the evp right so it's very simple it's very simple guys if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section if you have question right and some people complain to me that this place is showing not connected so for those of you that you're seeing this place showing not connected do not worry the software will still do the work perfectly so if you have any question ask me in the comment section i'll help you solve it so thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video bye bye for now i love you all